on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. If you're looking to get a PC for yourself or someone else for the holidays, time is running out. So let's see what's out there that you can get quickly. All that and more on this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go, nerds. Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to SI Weekly. And we know those deadlines are coming up for the holiday season, so we're here to help. If you're looking to get a pre-built for yourself or someone else for the holiday season, uh, we're going to look at what's out there that you can still get in time to have uh, nicely wrapped and ready to go. So uh, this is something we tend to do around this time of year. We'll try to find some systems at multiple budgets, price points, but we're still going to go by system integrator rather than splitting it up by the budget. So uh, just because each SI is going to have different like ship times. And also we're looking for, for most of them, we're looking at things that are like ready to ship. So it's going to be very narrowed down anyway. We'll also talk a little bit about the, uh, the big giveaway stream, the build stream that happened on Friday. And uh, that if you weren't there for that, which, you know, it was awesome. It was amazing. But if you weren't there for that, you'll want to know what's going on with that giveaway and how to get into it and all that. We'll talk about that before we get into the systems. So hang around for that. But first, I need to let you know this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. Now, before anything else, I wanna go over the important disclaimers that we say in every single video. Pricing and availability that you see in this video is likely to change. The next thing is you're gonna hear some opinions as I'm addressing what I think about the systems and the deals that we see and various things like that. If you disagree with my opinions, that's totally fine and normal. Don't worry, you do not need to call your doctor. It is healthy to have differing opinions, totally normal. But, uh, and I'd like to hear them actually. If you wanna share them politely in the comments below, if you disagree with me, go for it. Or in the Discord, you can join that using the link in the description. And then finally, this is not financial advice. When I say we're going to go look at what's available, that's literally what we're going to do. I don't know your particular budget or needs, so that means I can't make an accurate recommendation for you, the individual viewer. I'm providing you with information that you can arm yourself with so you can make an informed decision for yourself. Moving on. I want to talk about this PC right there because you can win that if you have not already joined that giveaway that is a um, uh, sponsored by I buy power, AMD Radeon and deep cool. You're going to want to get in on that and you can do that in the link in the description down below. You really should do that. It is a rad PC. It is a top, top of the line, full AMD advantage system with awesome specs. And I built it myself and you might have a system I built. Not many people these days are getting systems built by me. It's very rare. <laughs> Usually it's, some kind of pre-built that we're doing giveaway for. But iBuyPower wanted me to build it. I, I had a great time doing it. And let me tell you, those of you who showed up, thank you so much for making it such an awesome stream. It was seriously one of the biggest streams I've ever done and it was super fun. And uh, it was awesome. We gave away an, uh, just a GPU. We gave away an RX 7900 XT during the stream that night and it was awesome. So, and congratulations to the winner for that. And uh, I look forward to congratulating the winner of this piece, this whole PC back here, 7950X 3D, 7900 XTX, all the 7900s. Uh, be sure to get entered into that. Tons of free ways to enter. No money needs to be spent. You just need to get your name in there, get your name in that hat, and uh, best of luck to you all. But if you're not relying on a giveaway for your PC, which you should never rely on that, it's always good to be optimistic and hopeful, but plan on getting your own. That's what these videos are for. We can make sure that uh, you're going to get exactly what you need because you know what you need. I'm going to provide you with the information that you don't already know in case you didn't already know it. One last thing I want to say, because of the sheer generosity and enthusiasm during the stream on Friday, I did announce that yes, my PC matchmaking streams are coming back this Thursday, 8 p.m. Central. 
and it might be Twitch only. Uh, that's just easier to do. It's easier to manage because I am directly interacting with someone as I'm helping them. I'm gonna try to get a Google form together. So yeah, it's gonna involve providing me with information. Who would have thought that providing me with information could help me give you an accurate recommendation? But that's gonna be how that goes. And what we're doing today, we are looking through systems that you can get quickly. When it comes to something that you wanna reliably be able to get on time, you want to look for something that is already built. So we're really not looking for systems that require any kind of customization. We're just looking for systems that are ready to ship. What I'm looking at first, it actually is already going against what I previously said, but this may be, if you're trying to get yourself a SkyTech deal, this may be the best time to do that because by the time my next video comes out, it's gonna be too late to get a SkyTech system because they don't really have any that are just ready to go right away necessarily they may have some but the way things work here you find a system that you really like okay say you like this uh this nebula with a 12400f and the rtx 4070 one terabyte of m.2 storage 16 gigs ddr4 3200 yada 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 you like that you go ahead and click on it and it'll take you to the page on this page here it'll tell you ships in one to three business days but then it has a little drop down that says of course you need, it requires one to six days for UPS ground delivery. That's about how much time it could take depending on where you live. That means you're looking at a maximum of nine days, unless you order on a Friday, because this is one to three business days. As long as you order by Wednesday, it should ship by Friday, and then you would be looking at getting it six, one to six days after that, depending on how close you are to Southern California. Uh, with that in mind, you have a huge selection of systems to look through. Here at SkyTech, this one is already a pretty good choice for for a system to game at 1440p, 12400F, great gaming CPU, 4070, 1440p gaming, no problem. 16 gigs of RAM, all you need for gaming. If you want to stream, add more RAM. But as you can see, there are tons of options here. If you sort by budget here, by load up, by price low to high, as you can see, we're talking about systems that are, I mean, down to like 589 with a GTX 1650 and an Intel 10 400F. If this is the budget that you're at, I mean, this is a good, I mean, heck, 590 bucks for a gaming PC that can do some 1080p gaming. I mean, eight gigs of RAM DDR4. Is this one stick of RAM? I don't know. But you can actually, even this would be discounted using code SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. And don't forget that. Whatever pricing you're looking at with any system integrator that we're showing here, you should be able to get a discount with one caveat at the very end that we'll talk about, okay? Now, I, I, let me say something here really quick. Uh, SkyTech is uh, is offering a lot of systems here around uh, and at a lot of price points, and what is it's easy to run into what uh, is called option paralysis, okay? And option paralysis is where you have too many options that potentially suit your needs or wants, and you have no real way to choose between them. So, that can be an actual problem. So what you want to do is just get to the actual specific budget. Like if it's under your budget, go up, just, just go up a little bit, get to the exact. So if you're, if you're literally at a thousand dollars, take this, move it up to about 990, take this one, move it right down to just over a thousand dollars. Okay. 1099. Sure. And you'll still, there's going to be a range of, there's still, seven systems to choose from here uh so really our cup runneth over when it comes to choices however it does narrow it down quite a bit like this system right here is pretty rad except for the storage i, I swear i could have sworn i heard from somewhere that they weren't getting that they don't even have any more 500 gig m.2 drives so look at these a lot of these this is just one exception and the problem is i like this system because the intel arc a770 is a huge value plus that 13400f is a great cpu with its 10 cores for the price it's very very good but there are some other options here like this 13400f with a 3060 ti right here there you go one terabyte m.2 drive and 16 gigs DDR4 3200, and it doesn't say B660M, so it's not a it's not a micro ATX motherboard. 650 watt gold power supply and Wi-Fi included. Yeah, I would just go with this one over uh, this guy right here because you have double the storage. And although it's not as high airflow of a case, these aren't super hot running components, so that should be fine. It's a great system. 3060 Ti is still a banger. So for any of these 
two, uh, that's a good option. Just not the 11th gen Intel one. I, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, and then down here, we have arguably a better system. Uh, the reason I say arguably is that the 3060 Ti and 4060 Ti are in some situations pretty close in performance. The 4060 Ti though benefits from being able to use newer DLSS technologies and you're also getting it uh, with the same one terabyte of storage. It's basically the same system, except that you go from a 30 series card to a 40 series card for essentially $60. If that's worth it to you, go for it. Now, that was just me doing a really quick analysis of these. I've talked about SkyTech systems plenty of times. I've reviewed plenty of SkyTech systems. So that was just me going over these options. You go up just a few hundred dollars and you're gonna get even more options that load up. Okay, so that's why my advice is to really, really narrow it down to uh, if you say, you know what, I can spend like 12 to 1400 bucks. Just look at 1400, you know, minimize that range as much as possible if you're looking at SkyTech because options are great. It's great to have options, right? Like you have, system, you know, you can have a black system or a white system. There's ver different versions here, but you cannot customize these because there's so many options. It's hard for me to point at any one system and be like, oh, yeah, oh, that's the one. If you're like at around a thousand bucks, the Shiva 2 uh, with the 4060 Ti is probably the way to go. So let's say you're at let's just do a few recommendations here. Let's go up to fifteen hundred bucks. So we're, we're, it's about a seventy five dollar range here. OK, brought it down to four systems still. OK, not the 11th gen one already. Just 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 don't look at that one. OK, 12700 KF and an RTX 3070. That's a performer right there. I built this whole channel on a 3070 for quite a while. 5600 X and a 3080. I mean, 3080 is still a strong performer, man. It'll still it'll still take you there. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to do some even some 4K gaming on this thing or the 5800 X and a 3080. And that's $10 more. I mean, you're going last gen with the CPU and the GPU and the platform. But this would have been a baller system 13, 14 months ago. OK. So it's still going to last you years. 850 watt power supply. You've even got some room for maybe some upgrading there. So yeah, now this thing, this is a good, this Blaze 3 right here, 1500 bucks, probably the best deal here. So let's look at 2000 real quick, $25 swing. Actually, we're looking right at 2000. So it gives us two systems. Let's choose between these two. This is what I'm talking about when I say narrowing it down. So you can choose between a 13700 F or uh, with a 4070 Ti or a 7600X with a 4070 Ti. That's actually a tough one. Because both of these actually feature 32 gigs of DDR5 5200, okay, 850 watt gold rated power supplies. Gold rating, to be clear, a gold rating doesn't mean quality. It doesn't mean that it's going to be, uh, it doesn't mean how long it's going to last or anything like that. It's just an efficiency rating, okay? If you see 80 plus gold, that means when you're running at 50% load, you have 90% efficiency. You're losing 10% of the power being drawn out of the wall, okay? That's what that means, and that's good efficiency. It's very good efficiency, but that's all that means. Now, looking here, though, I uh, i mean, really, these are both high airflow cases, okay? Both of them are. Um, this one's a little bit more, a little bit flashier. You got underglow under there. You have uh, a white case. They both have a one terabyte drive. All the specs seem to be the same. It's just a platform difference. So the Intel system's a little bit weird because Usually what you'll see uh, when it comes to a compromise like this is you'll see a case skew processor, a processor that can be overclocked, right? Mixed with a uh, non Z series motherboard, which can't overclock that case skew processor. This is flipped around and it's interesting. This one's flipped around. So you have a CPU that cannot be overclocked, but you have a motherboard that supports overclocking case skew cpus like a 13700 k so this means you could later upgrade to like a 14900 k in this system if you wanted to and get the full benefit of that but that's not a huge up you, you'll see some benefit in performance but not a huge benefit in performance whereas this system over here you're looking at the socket am5 platform right the zen 4 socket am5 from amd that means that their next generation of cpus you could slot one in right here with a 13th gen Intel, you can upgrade to 14th gen processors, but 14th gen is just a refresh. It's not a full, there's not a full generational uplift in performance. So this platform is reaching end of life as well, as soon as the next family of next generation of CPUs come out, the next socket's gonna come out. This one's gonna be still fine. It'll still work great, but you won't have any upgrading from there. 
on this one, you'll be able to upgrade for a few years more. Like say you wait two, three years, whatever processor comes out around that time, you could drop it in here and get multi-generational uplift in performance with the AMD uh, platform here. So I'd probably go with this one. Even if you're losing a bit on, on performance in the very beginning, you have more room for upgrading. If you're never gonna upgrade your system, you will get in better performance out of this system right off the bat. So it, it just kind of continues from there. Uh, we'll look at, uh, I guess, 2,500 just to get one last recommendation in there and we'll, we'll, we will move on. Uh, the Azure 2 with a 13600K and a 4080, right? Or the Eclipse Lite with a 7800X3D and a 7900XT. Ooh, that's tough. Oh man, this is getting difficult, man. I'm telling you, these both come with uh, one terabyte of storage, but they've upgraded it from Gen 3 storage to Gen PCIe Gen 4. I would still rather it be higher capacity. You will rarely use the max read write speeds of your drives. Rarely, rarely use that. However, you use your capacity every day. These should have two terabyte drives, even if they can't be Gen 4 or they're lower, lower end Gen 4, it should be uh, two terabytes. But these have the nicer motherboards for both, okay? Z Z690 DDR5, it's not a B-series motherboard. So this 13600K, you could totally overclock it if you want to. If you're trying to get into overclocking, don't get anything that has a 3D at the end of it from AMD because you can't overclock those. If, you're, if gaming is your priority, go with this one here. The 7900 XT is a very real performer. It, the performance of it is very, very good. And the 7800 X3D is the top gaming CPU on the market. The 4080 is more powerful of GPU than the 7900 XT. And the 7800 X3D trumps the 13600K in gaming. If you're looking to use your PC for anything other than just gaming, Go with this one right here because the 13600K is a jack of all trades when it comes to being a like a mid-range CPU. It can do gaming really well. It can do productivity really well. It can do content creation pretty well. I mean, it can do a, a lot of things. I would say most people should probably go for the Azure 2 in this case. But if you're wanting to get into the AMD uh, ecosystem, you want to get onto that platform and you plan on maybe upgrading down the line as well for the, maybe the next... 3D Vcache monster that they come up with next generation or the one after that, you're gonna want this one right here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move over to Alexander PCs and see what they have. Uh, we go to their website and then we go to products and ready to ship PCs. Oh boy, see that's what I'm talking about. That's a lot of systems. Oh boy, so Alexander PCs, if you don't know who they are, they are a smaller SI boutique builder that has also ventured into making some more budget oriented systems, but you're still getting a boutique build. So you're paying a premium to get a boutique build. Their build quality is through the roof. Their warranty is a lifetime warranty. Something with a lifetime warranty should cost more than something that does not have a lifetime warranty. They're pretty much the only system integrator in our SI testimonials section on the Discord that has a pretty much 100% positive rating for an SI that has gotten a lot of testimonials. There are other ones where we've gotten one or two testimonials that are only positive. I'm not counting that. I'm saying for ones that have gotten a lot of testimonials, these are the only guys who have everything be positive. Uh, and there's a wide range starting at around 1378. And by the way, using code BRAE, B-R-A-E, can get you 50 bucks off any system on the site, whether it's a custom one or a ready to ship system, okay? Now looking at this, you can look at their other systems, pre-configured model orders that are placed today. And this will say the 22nd when you look at it, because I'm filming this a day earlier. Uh, we'll have an estimated ship date of December, a uh, ship date of the 21st. So it wouldn't really arrive on time for the 25th. Now you will pay, again, you are paying premium getting a boutique build, and that's gonna be some of the ones we look at today. Just understand that there are benefits to it. You're getting better parts in most of these systems than most other pre-configured systems that are from larger SIs that are doing higher volume. You're gonna get some part, you know, motherboard's gonna be nicer. Coolers are gonna be nicer. It's gonna be, you know, brand name memory, brand name power supply, things like that, okay? That is a thing and that does cost more, so you do pay more. Starting with something that has an Intel i3 12100F and a 4060, you can go all the way up to a system that has Oh God, the, the Evangelion system. Oh man. You wanna talk about something that has all premium parts. Every one of these parts is like twice the price of a normal part. So don't look at this and be like, oh, they're price gouging. No, 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 no. These are all like, oh, man, I really wanted one of the Eva systems. I really did. But no, you're talking about looking at a top, top of the line system 
Intel i9 13900KS and a 4090 uh, for 5,500 bucks. It's just, it's, it is top of the line. That is what it is. But if you're gonna spend something like 5,500 bucks on a system, a lifetime warranty is a pretty nice thing to have, I think. Uh, but there's some super clean systems here that like, look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is a system that has a Ryzen 7 7800X3D and a 7800XT GPU in this small form factor case. Like this is freaking gorgeous. Uh, but let's take a look at the specs here. 7800X3D, Asus ROG Strix B650E-I gaming Wi-Fi. So it's an ITX motherboard. Those are inherently more expensive. Small form factor builds are usually inherently more expensive. Kingston Fury Beast, 64 gigs, two by 32, DDR5, 6,000, CL36. Excellent, excellent kit of RAM right there. And then you have a one terabyte Kingston KC 3000, one terabyte. Okay, so this is a problem with the listing, not with the system. Because if you look at this, it's actually totally rad. There was, as I said, there was an easily accessible M.2 socket right here. And apparently they have added a two terabyte Kingston NV2 PCIe Gen 4 M.2 drive. So there's three terabytes of storage and systems, totally fine. Why make me tear my hair out when I don't even have any? Please add that to the listing, man. <laughs> Come on. I was here doubting, like, I was like, man, they know better. They know better. Yeah, you can get this totally rad for the... 2400 bucks, three terabytes storage. Now I have to mess with it, you're good to go. All right. I just thought that was really cool. But like right over here, also super sick system. Similar specs 7800X3D with a 7800XT pure white card, white board, white cooler, white case. Not white board, but you know, white elements on it. Really, really sick looking system right here. And it's just every one of these has a ton of attention and care put into them. And uh, I can happily recommend Alexander PCs. And look at these, you got your strimmer cables included here. Oh, I love that, you hover over it and it turns off the RGB, that's pretty sick. Or it turns it on for some of these, that's really cool. So there's a really wide range here. And you can take 50 bucks off any of these systems using code BRAE, B-R-A-E. And ready to ship systems uh, will s ship within 24 business hours. There you go. Let's go ahead and move on to Meta PCs. And these are their ready to ship systems. They still got this cotton candy one, and I mean, it's, I'm sure a lot of people look at this and then they look at the specs and they're just like, whoa, it's this 13700K and a 4080 for $5,900. This is a custom liquid cooled system. Like that's not, that is not cheap. You're not getting away with this cheap. Like that is, and not only that, you'll spend about this much getting a system from EK Fluid Gaming. And those are all just like fittings for the bends. Like there's no, actual bending of the tubes that they have to do because they developed a whole system for that. This takes labor and expertise to pull off, okay? I mean, this is a rad, rad looking system. So yeah, you're not, but you're not, you know, it's it's gonna add 1500 to $2,000 just to do all this stuff, okay? Uh, but there's a, you know, there's a few options here. And I will say this is one of my favorite sub $1,000 options right here, okay? This one is strong, all right? 12100F and the, Radeon RX 6650 XT, not just a Radeon RX 6600. Radeon RX 6650 XT, 16 gigs of DDR4, B660M Pro with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, deep cool cooler, not the cooler that comes with the CPU because the 12100F does come with an inbox cooler, 650 watt power supply and a one terabyte drive for 898. And uh, you can get a discount using code Brayathorn. So you can get the price even lower. Just type my name in. Don't misspell it. But this is a great, great value for this system. And um, honestly, looks well specced out and uh, I like it a lot. So there you go. Jumps up pretty well going up to $2,000 or 2280 uh, for these two. This one you're looking at a 12600K and a 4070 with 32 gigs of DDR4 and a one terabyte drive. Eh. And then there's a 12900KF. So, I mean, you're looking at 12th gen Intel for both of these. Not the worst thing, and I would probably stick to like lower end 12th gen, so you don't feel as bad if you're upgrading it to 13th gen. But once 14th gen CPUs drop in price, when the next platform comes out, grab yourself a 14600K, drop that in there, bam. Big uplift in performance, Dunion rings. The RX 6800 XT is still a monstrous GPU. Still very, very good. It competes with the 7800 XT. And this one is DDR5 rather than the DDR4 that you get in this system. 
for gaming, it's not going to make a huge difference. But another big difference is getting a two terabyte drive. Man, I would say, I was saying go for this one, but like for like 260 bucks, 250 bucks, that's a solid upgrade. But yeah, still some options for Meta right there to get them quick and uh, you ship out next business day, bam, there you go. So let's take a quick look at what's going on over at PowerGPU. Now, when you cut to the PowerGPU ready to ship page, you have to make a couple changes here just to make it easier. You sort by price lowest to highest, and then you have to click in stock. I'd like to see it just, I mean, I wish you guys would just show what's in stock just by default, but here's what I'm recommending out of most of these systems here is probably the power prime for most people, $1,800. I mean, you do have a system here that is ready to rock 1080p gaming with a Yeti, okay? And that is something definitely to consider. Then you have high-end systems like the Power Elite here or the Echo. But the Power Prime is kind of a catch-all, kind of covers every base. The only thing I think I think is a weak, a bit of a weak link here is a 4060 Ti. First off, doesn't say whether it's eight, eight gig or 16 gig, but I think it's a bit of a weak link just because they, you know, they cut some corners on the 4060 Ti. Nvidia did. I would prefer to see a 4070 in here. Here's the thing: I complain about that. Look at this. This thing has a Kingston S SKC 3000D two terabyte Gen 4 drive in a system at $1,800. I don't hear complaining about this, this thing here. Trust me, guys, losing out some frames on your game is annoying, right? Running out of space, having to delete games to install other games, that's more annoying. And it's a real problem that can affect you. 14600K is a monster. It's a great CPU that should be well cooled by the Deepcool LS5 2240 millimeter. Uh, you got a B760 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard from MSI. I feel bad that I started with a criticism here. I almost feel like it'd be better to take the money from this and get like a 7800 XT or 7700 XT. Well, I guess what I'm getting at here is like there are the sliders are moved around on this, right? Like they moved up the slider on the CPU and on the storage, right? Motherboard's nice too. Cooler's pretty nice. But then they dropped it down on the GPU a bit and also on the power supply because it's 650 watts. You're kind of stuck with this 4060 Ti. You're not just going to go out and get yourself 4080 and drop it in here. You don't have enough power. There's not enough power in the system to do that. So you're kind of limiting on upgradability here. And uh, power supply can be a bit of a pain to swap out, but it's not the worst swap that you can do. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's still a really, really overall good system. Uh, but looking at some of the other systems here, I do want to take a quick look at the Yeti. And uh, the Yeti is pretty nice too. This is where I'm talking about the, about 5000 series Ryzen being amazing for uh, budget oriented builds. But look at this system, under $1,000, but you still get a Gen 4 uh, one terabyte M.2 drive. Ah, there you go. And uh, here we have a Radeon card, Radeon RX 6600, uh, eight gigabytes. So that's nice right there. We have also a Be Quiet, the same power supply apparently. And uh, Kingston Fury Renegade RGB, 16 gigs, DDR4, 3600, C16. That is good, good DDR4. And a nice motherboard, MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi DDR4 ATX. This is great for 950? Hell yeah. Quick talk about iBuyPower, okay? So when it comes down to the wire, the, you know, the week before the holidays, I tend to focus on iBuyPower ready systems because they have the greatest variety of systems where it's not just one or two in stock, where they have a, I keep sending people to watch the tour video that I did there, but seriously, walls of PCs in their warehouse, just to the ceiling, mountains of PCs. They prepare for this holiday for months ahead of time. They're ready. So I tend to focus more on iBuyPower around right before the holidays. This video was to show you more ready to ship options from other SIs. So let's scoot over, take a quick glance at iBuyPower and talk about the discount code. So what they did for the, in, you know, to sort of celebrate the build stream that we're doing here, they were able to get a discount code. Uh, uh, they were able to have the code Brayathorn for ready systems for one week, which is ending today, Monday, the 11th. I am going to ask. I don't think I'll get the answer in time for the video. I don't know. You might need to look at the pinned comment. I'm going to ask if we can get that coupon code to last through to like the 24th, because year after year around this time, I've been championing these ready systems every year. And it would be super cool if everyone could use code Braithorn for that. 
I mean, it would just make sense to me. So if you guys think they should do that, let them know in the comments below. But if not, they'll have some, they'll, they're gonna have crazy discounts. So we'll take a quick scan through, see how many systems are there. Go to iBuyPower, it'll say holiday sale. You'll see a bunch of sales here, but we, we go ahead and look at the ready pre-built computers. That's where you go right here. All right, so to let you know, just, just, just so you're aware, the way the Brave Thorn code is working is the same as when they do ready, the ready, you know, ready code and ready 100. Basically, that one code, Brave Thorn, gives you 50 bucks off any system that is not above 999. So this one that's 999 right here does not count. And it gives you $100 off any system that is nine, uh, above 1999. Now for the rest of the holiday sale that iBuyPower is doing, um, there are some things that they're doing with the custom systems, but you won't get those on time necessarily. So I don't really push those too much in this time of year. For systems that are 2999 or more through the holidays, they're gonna have code RDY200 to give you 200 bucks off any system that is over 2999. Uh, that's not something I have really seen before. I might have just missed it, but it's it's pretty good. So while this system is okay, is is pretty good um, in in general. Look at this uh, Ryzen 5 5600 with a GeForce RTX 4060, 16 gigs DDR4, and a one terabyte drive. Okay, uh, not bad, not bad with a 4060. Pretty good actually. You actually get a really solid upgrade here for 50 bucks. And guess what? Because it's over 999, not at 999. That 50 bucks take, gets taken right off. Plus high airflow case, same GPU, one terabyte M.2 drive. Uh, it also gets a tower cooler rather than the stock cooler that this one seems to get. And you get the Intel 13th gen platform, Intel 13400F and um, an MSI B760 Wi-Fi motherboard. So just like that, you're getting on a platform you can actually have a bit of an upgrade path for. I know it's coming to end of life, okay? I know that, but the 13400F is a great CPU, 10 cores in that CPU. Ignore that one, I'd say get this one and use code Braithorn. Bam, now it's the same price and it's better. Honestly, this would make a great system for the pre-built rebuilt series. Am I right? Right, I buy power? I think it really would. There's that. This one is a Ryzen 7000 series one with this RX 7600. Look at that, for 1049, down to 999 with a one terabyte drive. If you wanna get on that, on that Zen 4 platform to have that long upgrade path down the line, this is a great budget system for that. This is a similar one, but this one gets a 4060 Ti um, for 50 bucks more. Okay, there you go. This is gonna take a lot of time to go through all of these and we're gonna do this closer to the holidays. Just saying, if you want me to go through, if you wanna see a video where I go through more of these, check last week's video because I went more in depth on a lot of these. There might be some that are in here now that weren't in there before but i'm going to go over those closer to the holiday so just get subscribed stick around for that and um right you know of course come back on thursday at least go to the twitch channel i don't know if i'm going to do the pc matchmaking stream on both i'm probably going to keep that to just twitch where it used to be all the time but that is going to be at twitch.tv slash brayathorn if you're not already following me you should totally do that um, I, you're not going to get annoyed with a ton of notifications because you follow me or anything because I don't stream there very often, but I'm changing that. And again, it's to thank you guys for, for making the stream on Friday. So awesome. So awesome to do. I'm exhausted. This place is still a mess, but it was so worth it. I, I can't wait to find out who wins this freaking PC. It's going to be, it is such a rad PC. Uh, and if any of the systems in this video might be right for you, we can find out. Go ahead and jump on the Discord or follow me on Twitter for any announcements and follow me on on, uh, on Twitch. I'm pretty much Brayathorn everywhere. There's no other Brayathorns. I am the only one. So if you check any social media platform, I'll be there under this name, but really I use Twitter and the Discord for announcements. But yeah, I will hopefully see you guys on Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so that and I might even start a little earlier. So follow the follow me on Twitter for announcement things like that or follow me on Twitch so that you see the notification pop up when I start. Uh, I might start it earlier so we can get more people taken care of because this is a stressful season and I want to help with that as much as possible. But I am also stressed out and, and a lot going on. So who knows how it's going to go? It's a crazy time for everybody. Oh boy, tis the season. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. And until the next one. Take care.